I presume you've come here seeking work? I'm afraid the mine may be closed for some time yet. Not too long, of course. Anyway, feel free to stay as long as your coin purse allows. Our innkeeper will no doubt appreciate the business. Some of our egg hands have fallen ill. We've elected to keep them in the mines until we find the source of the sickness. Just a precaution, mind you. Surveyors from House Redoran should be arriving any minute to, you know, survey. Trapped? No, don't be absurd. It's not as if they're itching to leave. Look, House Redoran will sort this out. Speak to Foreman Lothdar if you have other questions. He's just over there, by the mine entrance. I have other matters to attend to. Can't you hear it? The song. It's all well, it's about damn time. You daffy House Redoran types have... Wait. You're not House Redoran. Ah. Should have known better. You'd best move on, stranger. This mine's cursed. It'll snatch you up just like poor Thugbruth if you aren't careful. Sorry for growling and moping. We've just been waiting for these damned Redoran surveyors so long. Kind of lost hope, you know? My egg hands are in buckets of trouble. Some strange noise is turning their brains to pudding, driving the Kwama mad too. It's put a hex on them. They won't budge. They just pace and hum and blubber like idiots. Practically had to beat Thugbrut senseless to drag them out here. Ugh, something in that noise, that song. It's got them by the beards and won't let go. Maris, mercy. Thank you, friend. I'm supposed to wait until the Redder and Surveyor show up, but to some god with that. I want my people home safe. Do what you need to do, but don't stay in there long. I don't want that song to claim you too. Oh, well, it's barely a song. It's just a mash of notes, you know? It crawls up behind your eyeballs and makes you dizzy, paranoid. I've been working in these mines for years, and I've never heard the like. Might have something to do with all the quakes. Yeah, I, I don't know if you noticed, but Red Mountain's been pretty ornery lately. We've been dealing with minor cave-ins for weeks. Could be that one of those tremors uncovered something it shouldn't have. Song. The song. Do you see how it shimmers? Do you see its tones, its colors? It should help make things clear, make things whole, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It has to be fixed. Open your ears. You have to find it. The melody. It's shattered and hidden. You see? Tucked away in the noise, but it's there. It has to be. It has to be. It's not time yet. What are you? No! I can't leave. Not yet. I tried to follow the foreman. I did. But it won't let me. Not until everything is as it should be. Not until everything is perfect. Yes! Yes! The song! You've heard it. I can tell. It should be quiet. It isn't ready. It isn't perfect. But someone interfered. The ground shook and... Oh, the meddling! They broke it! They ruined it! Yes, yes, but not one of us. No, it's a tinkerer, a meddler, poking around and breaking things, soiling them. He has to be punished. Yes, the song has to be pure, has to be perfect. If not, the consequences... Oh, oh the consequences!
hand, all the same. All just meat. They killed her. Killed their own queen. Do you see what it does? What it's doing? Broken. All broken. Just the mine for now. But soon, everywhere. It's spun out of control. Can't you feel it? It echoes and grows. Echoes and grows. Soon it will be too loud for the mind to contain. Everyone will hear it. Everyone. And then... No! We have to fix it. Has to be fixed. Has to be perfect. thought I had it that time. Curse you, you buzzing hunk of junk. This is spite, isn't it? I'm sorry I broke you, all right? Oh, I should never have touched this damn thing. Stupid. Ah, gracious. You nearly gave me a heart attack. You're a Redoran enforcer, are you? Look, I I'm near to fixing this thing, I promise. Wait, how are you not a mumbling imbecile? Uh, uh, don't bother answering. I can't hear a thing. Here's a plug, see? Civilize? Oh dear, you're just as mad as the others, aren't you? Look, try to focus. This resonator is broken. I need to set these dials to the correct sequence, but I can't hear the tones. Are you aware of any sequence it could be set to? Just nod. Excellent, he said, expecting the worst. Uh, just turn these dials until you think they're in the correct sequence. That lever there seems to execute the pattern. I'm sure that if the dials are in the correct position, something will happen. Four possible combinations after all. <laughs> we'll have it in no time. Something's happening. I think you've got it. Yes, that's it. 
It's working! <laughs> I hope! Come on, let's get out of here! Ha! Ah, see? Everything worked out! I have a small camp set outside of this room. We can talk there. Ah, oh, the hero of the hour. You have my deepest thanks and most heartfelt compliments. The fact that you fixed it in your clearly adult condition. Exemplary work. Just exemplary. Seems like it's quieted down. I do hope it stays that way. I can offer little more than a guess. When you corrected the melody, the resonator returned to a dormant state. Some kind of slumbering function to conserve energy, maybe. What matters is that it's quieted down. Thank goodness. Oh dear, I hope so. Their exposure was fairly limited. If they had remained for another day, though, difficult to say. Please, let the foreman know how truly sorry I am. If there's anything I can do to help, feel free to call on me at my tower. I do wish I could have done a more thorough study of the Resonator. What do you think they would do with such a device? Enslavement, perhaps? No, not enslavement. Oh, that's too obvious. did it! My egg hands started stumbling out of the mine a few minutes ago. They've got some bumps and scrapes and more than a few headaches, but otherwise no worse for the wear. What happened down there? A dwarven what? How did... I've worked those mines for years and I've never seen a scrap of dwarf mischief. Where is this snow-backed dark elf? It was that Telvani Skiva Revis, wasn't it? Huh. More Talvani trickery. And to think, I'd almost warm to that little dolt. Ugh. Enough grumbling. I'm just grateful that my people are alive and safe. It's only because of you, friend. I'll raise a bottle of mead to you every night, from now until world's end. Please, take this. You've more than earned it for what you've done. <laughs>